All right, everyone. I decided I'm gonna go ahead and make this video. I've been putting it off long enough. Apparently, a lot of people have been having issues trying to figure out how to use the sawbuck with the latest version. So I'm gonna demonstrate how you set it up and operate it and everything in this quick little video. So right now, I already have it connected to the machine. So I will. Disconnect it and just get it out of the way. All right, so you will notice you can hit X and it will bring out those four little markers. Those are placement markers for where you can place the saw buck at. To attach it to the machine. You can do this by hitting X and that will collapse and bring them out. So once you got your saw buck, the focal point that you want to try to aim for is right about where the hydraulics is on the saw buck. And for some odd reason, my little thing at the bottom won't show up saying I can attach. But you can see that it is now attached. Alright, now, even though the boxes are still in the way, you can remove them by hitting G and then hitting X. And they will go back inside the machine. So, now the next thing you want to do, after you get them hidden, hit G again. Just make sure that you have the saw buck selected. So with the saw bug being your selected tool, hit B or Oh yeah, you gotta turn the motor on. Alright, turn the motor on. Then you can hit B and turn it on. Now it operates exactly like a processor head does. Whenever you get a tree there, you just hit the cut node and it does all the work for you and it even delims. So we have it turned on right now. And come over here and grab hold of this one and we will just set it hmm, scoot it up a little bit more now what I normally do is I'll cut them about right there on the second notch back it's about I think about four meters thereabouts I measured it up once I can't remember exactly what it is once you get it set in there, hit X, and it will cut it. That is all there is to actually getting it to cut wood. Now it will, like I said, it will delimb. Stretch it out there away. You can see it. That it's actually delimbing it. Now the limbs are gone. So that's the quick little thing on how to get it to function. Now there's also no attach point on the trailer. This saw buck is now strappable. So you can put it on anything that has tension straps and strap it down. So whenever you go to transport this, all you have to do is set it right here on the tongue of the trailer. Well, center on the tongue of the trailer. Not centered, but you'll get the point. Then you can hit L and it straps it down. There you can see the straps going around it. Now there's two strap points 
you see one up there right just below the stand up front and then one about the center of it. I mean, that's about all I can think of to need to explain with it. But if you haven't already used it, it's color selectable. It's got three body colors. You can have white, black, and orange. Uh, it has a selectable jib alarm to where you can have it like it is right here. Or you can have it with a fixed heel. It's not a live heel, it's just a fixed heel mounted to the jib. The outriggers, they are animated on themselves. They will automatically fold and unfold whenever you hook it and unhook it from a semi for transport. Another thing that I, eh, I might be able to show it. Let's just see how long it's going to take. To get there some people have suggested lights on the jib arm I, it, it's not in the plans to do at the moment the nice little thing that I unknowingly done is when you turn on your lights as far as you can see with the light shine is as far as what your loom will stretch out so that will help give you a little bit of a gauge as to far how far your reach is with the boom if you don't know you can just have your lights on and if you when you're working at night however far you can see that's how far you can reach <coughs> time is moving fairly quick but not really quick enough Kind of see no, maybe not, but your front lights will show you just how far you can reach. Nice little tidbit and an accidental helper that I've done. So, I hope you all find this helpful. I hope it helps you get the learning machine and run it better. I um, hope you're enjoying it and having fun with it. Uh, everybody on the MSM crew has worked hard testing it and helping make this thing come to life and improving it constantly. So I personally thank the entire team and everybody that's helped with the project. Uh, so have fun with it and enjoy.